Here is the creation of the painting called Tranquil Walk. I hope you enjoy this. Please let me know. I'm in surgery this week and I wanted to record a video while I was preparing so you had something to watch. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, again, as you know, there's a lot of palette knives that we can use. There's some catalysts. This is my series on um, creating landscapes, abstract landscapes, using some tools. This time, I'm going to use some white crackle paste. This is by... Um, Let's see. Prima Marketing Company. Reading this is a little difficult. This is pre-eye surgery. After eye surgery, I'm not quite sure what I can read. But I think with this one, I'm still going to use the pointed. I love this one. It's very well used. So I'm going to use the pointed one. Now, crackle paste will dry crackly. So, say I'm going to use it down here. And you'll see this when it dries, how beautiful it is. Instead of doing a line like I did with the molding paste one, this may be maybe some, I don't know, cobblestone. I'm going to put enough on so that you can see what happens to its beautiful effect. So, I'm gonna let this dry for 24 hours. So I put enough on that I have it in layers. It's hard to see because it's white but it's like spreading it's not as thick as i spread my cream cheese and um maybe it's about as thick as you might spread your butter on a piece of bread all right so this one this landscape this has got the crackle paste, and it really has some beautiful crackle. I hope you can see that. So I'm going to try to emphasize some of that. I'm going to put some, hopefully what will happen is the high flow will seep down in. So I'm going to use a couple different colors here, and you can see already how the High flow is seeping down in, and I want to have several several colors going on here. Um, it's going to be a landscape, but I don't really have a plan. All the textures down in the bottom part. I like having. Um, A bit up here but of course the majority of what's going to happen is going to happen down in the bottom part I'm going to use my fan brush and just get some color going up here just push some color around Again, I'm going to try to keep this minimalistic, but I like what's happening down here. I want this to be seen. Um, I'm really liking that. 
like I said, it's easy to overdo. It's harder to keep a painting minimalistic. I like what is happening down here. I think what I'd like to do is put some gold down there. Here's some golden, can't see, but that is like a golden and it is a high flow. Let's see what this might do. Okay. You use the fan brush. I like how that just dropped in there. I, I like to keep what's going on here because of the way it's the crackle paste is. And there's some over here. Of course, some of it has sunk down in, but there's enough of the crackle paste look there for it to be interesting. I'm popping the bubbles. I'm gonna bring that gold in someplace else. Maybe a little black in a different location. Bring in enough of an interest. I want just a tip of the black down here. I like this to be a little bit more in fact, I may like that. Like I said, it's very difficult if you've ever worked with a minimalistic to keep something minimalistic without doing too much. And the way this painting seems to be going is it's, it's definitely doing its own thing. I'm gonna pop a bubble here with a clean brush couple bubbles. But I'm liking that. I think there's a spot right here that I'm going to put a little more white. And the reason why is it's it's gotten I'm going to use this palette knife. It's gotten a little thin. almost like a marbleized look. I'm 
Okay, there again, I'm going to leave that. I do need to pop some bubbles here. But I'm liking that just the way it is. So I'm going to let this dry. So I did a little video of this, so I try to get up close so you could really see what the crackle piece looks like. It's really beautiful. And um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. It's shorter, but this week I'm in surgery and I won't be able to even answer emails probably for about seven days. Um, gotta have my face straight down so that my, my retina heals. So I wanted to make sure that you had this. It's a beautiful painting. I hope you give it a try. You can use this on canvas, on paper, um, or on the canvas board. It dries the, the same no matter if you use paper or canvas board or whatever. But I hope you enjoyed this. Give me a thumbs up, say hello. I think I might be able to read your responses, but I may not be able to respond. I gotta like pretty quiet. So I'd love to hear from you. Let me know what you think. I thought this was a beautiful painting and a beautiful medium to use. So again, thank you for being part of my world and for those that are part of my membership. Thank you so much for supporting me the way you do. And um, hopefully you're enjoying your videos that are talking about value and color this month.